easily the happiest time of my life. Oh God, I I think about it every day. The uh, I was a uh, I was in a boy band once. It was uh, called Half and Half, and it was a uh, it was made up of me. My friend Rolando, my friend Christian, and my friend Sean. And, uh, those were the, uh, those were good times. We, uh, we had a lot of fun together. And I just, thinking back on it, it, uh, brings up a lot of emotions. <laughs> so, uh, we started the band, us four, uh, as a group, uh, mainly originally because it was, uh, it was for a school project. We uh, needed to make a music video, and so the four of us, we got together, and uh, we grouped up, and uh, we started this band, and, uh, you know, it just, it kind of took off, though. Uh, we weren't, didn't really expect it, but we got the group together, we made... Our first song, which ended up actually, funny enough, being our most popular, and we just, it was an immediate hit. It it took off. It took the nation by storm, really. <laughs> that that first song, Work With Physics, um, a parody of Work From Home by Fifth Harmony, and it was, Sean did most of the lyrics, and I did most of the choreography. Rolo provided that spark of energy and Christian was just there um Christian was kind of a you know how every 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 group has that one guy that's just a freeloader that was Christian in our group so he played in a pivotal role really and god man I miss I miss working on that first video that was that was when everything was right you know it was just right we uh we actually never recorded another song after that first one. It was, uh, that was the end for us. Really, the, it was a short rise, and it wasn't a very high rise, but it was, there was a, there was a slight incline towards maybe the top, and it was about that, that long, and then, then it was a pretty sharp decline after that. You know, some people are just, uh, they aren't meant for fame. And that was pretty much everybody in that group except me. No one else could really take suddenly becoming that popular. Sean just, it got what got in his head. He, uh, he went on Twitter blasting the rest of the group saying that we weren't as talented as him. Christian was taking credit for the entire piece of work that we did at every party he went to. And Rolo, Rolo didn't really do anything that I can remember, but I mean, I'm sure he just didn't take it well, because, well, I'm obviously the best in the group, so I was really the only one I think that could handle it. <laughs> Needless to say, it was a uh, it was not a good breakup of the band. It ended pretty ugly between the four of us. Uh, Christian was the first to go after kind of being pushed away from the three of us. Um, mainly, Sean was the instigator of that, followed closely by Rolo. I tried talking to Christian, maybe about changing his attitude before we kicked him out, but the other two they didn't want anything to do with him. Uh, Christian ended up being okay with it. He went off to finish school. And he's now doing that. Um, shortly after Christian left, Rolo, it really went into Rolo's head. The power that he had over everything. As he was also the manager of the band. And he tried to control Sean and I. And that just, I, I'm, a, I'm a wild card. And he couldn't control me. And he didn't like that. So he went off and he started a solo career. Uh, obviously that failed because you've never heard anything about him, so I guess joke's on him. And then it was down to just Sean and I, and I actually thought this duo would be able to do something. I thought we were pretty tight together, 
I thought we worked well. But this was probably the hardest part of the entire process for me. Um, Sean and I continued to work together. And we were about to put out our first album. And it came out. And when I listened to it, he had gone and removed every part that I was in. He any anywhere that I was in before and any of the songs he removed those. Every it, it I was completely cut out. He even took my name out of the band and he called himself half and half. I which didn't make any sense to me and it still doesn't. And I was so hurt. And I I, I even called him up and I was like, Man, what are you doing? He's like, You just don't fit. You just you're not as talented as you think you are and that that was a wake-up call. I realized I was the only person that was going to be able to do this for me. And that all these other guys, they were just using me and to get where they wanted to be. And then they thought they could just cruise along. Joke's on them, though, because look who's famous now. I'm the only one that ended up famous. I'm the Justin Timberlake of this boy band. So looking back on it, though, it still hurts. It hurts a lot. Our... If you've ever had just friendships ripped apart by things, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was just the most painful experience of my life. Would I consider getting the band back together? No, not at all. Those I haven't talked to those guys in years. They're, they're basically dead to me. I mean, I don't even really know where they are at this point. Uh, that's just how it goes sometimes, you know?